Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for December 5th, 2021 from Psalm 116, Loving God. Verse 1, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. Yes, God first loves us. God first forgives us. And in response, we love the Lord. Verse 3, the snares of death encompass me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Not only does the Lord love and forgive us, but he also rescues us even when we sin against him. And even though we deserve nothing but eternal death and damnation, he still loves and restores us. Even if we get ourselves into our own troubles, God still loves us and forgives us. Verse 5, gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saves me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Yes, we need to remember we confess our sins. We need to remember we don't deserve God's gracious love, but he does love us. And I love the part where it says, my soul returns to God for rest. For truly, God is the one where we rest in. The world around us will never forgive us. The world around us will never love us the way God does. It's only in God do we have true peace. The psalmist then states this as a why. Verse 8, For you have delivered my soul from death my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Yes, God has delivered us from death. And so we now walk in God's ways because God's ways are true life. Verse 10, I believed. Even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. All mankind are liars. Well, we could have a lot of fun with that statement. And it is true. In this world, it seems that people are battling for the truth. But we know where the truth is. It's in God's word. Because God's word reveals us the true peace and love and forgiveness that comes from God. Verse 12 what shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. There is no way we could ever repay God. So we respond by thanking and praising God. In the midst of the congregation, the community of believers. Verse 15, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. This verse reminds us that while the world sees death as a bad thing, Christians view death as a gateway to being with Christ for the rest of eternity. So it is a good thing. Verse 16, O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord. In your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. So the psalmist concludes by thanking God for all that he has done and praising him. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. 
and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.